It is nice to have working redstone contraptions again. Oh, it's a wild, a wild kill of West appears. <laughs> uh, I'm recording this literally right after the prank reaction video. So he came over to check out what had, uh, Drew had done, and he's still wandering. <laughs> is he giving me four? <laughs> Are these my slabs? <laughs> uh, amazing. I um I had told him uh when the, the portal had been disabled <laughs> Nope. When the portal had been disabled, uh he came over to visit to see what Drew had done as his prank <laughs> and uh and when he came through the portal, because Drew had disabled our actual portals, it created a portal in the barn, as you may recall. <laughs> Tips, uh, uh, what kind of cap? I guess I'll just say cap. <laughs> he tips minish cap. Uh, um, reference. But when he came through, it created the portal over there, and it replaced four of the jungle wood slabs. So since it was Caleb that came through, I said, you know, you, you owe me four jungle wood slabs, you monster. And so he came and he gave me four of my own slabs out of my jungle wood chest, which I thought was pretty <laughs> clever as well. But anyway, let's get on to the project for today's episode. This is obviously where the beacon is coming out and I've done a little preliminary work on this. I want to make it a little bit more pronounced than just the hole in the ground that it was before. So I want to build like a little, maybe a fountain here. So I've got some materials together and we're gonna see, I'll oh, just pull down a whole bunch, just pull down everything. Why not? Got the inventory space. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm gonna do with it. Honestly, let's just dig out a little bit of room here to get an infinite spring going. So I think I'm going to need more than the two sources. And let's try and get up there. I've got glowing pumpkins underneath for lighting, which I hope will be very fun. Go there. And then we'll need... I should have made this a staircase. Oh! There we go. Let's grab another bucket full, and then we'll grab two more. Get over here. Place that there. Okay. Not too shabby so far. And we'll grab two more, and we'll fill in the other two. Need one here. Flowing that way, and we need one here. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, fill these back up before I replace them, because I don't think I'm going to need any more water. Nice block placement. Way to go. Alright, so that's a start. It's too bright around here to really get the lighting effect though unfortunately and I'm not getting the flow either that I was hoping for can I force it oh no that's gonna no 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 dang it oh that's washing away all my grass my torch well I guess I don't really have any torches there well I'm gonna have to rebone meal that darn it oh it, I did have a torch there somewhere probably don't need it well, that was not expected. 
What happens if I break it now? Okay, now it's sort of doing what I want. Except I'm going to have to break this. Working with water is a pain. Uh, let's go up here, and then we go like this. And then we come over here. Can we just place these down like that? And then break them? Okay, so that sort of does it. Oh wait, does that block the beacon? Oh man, I didn't think water blocked the beacon. Shoot, okay, well that's not gonna work. <laughs> I still want water here, but we're gonna have to do it in a different way. Let's get the infinite spring back. And we'll get rid of these water sources up here. Yeah, they blocked the beacon. Shoot. Alright, now we're gonna really have to improvise. We're gonna need to put... If we put water sources on the sides... Oh, dang it! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh! Stinking water! Ah. Working with water can certainly be one of the most frustrating uh, aspects of Minecraft. No doubt about it. Alright, let's put down a little bit of a protective wall on this side. Let's try that again. So if we go here, now it's flowing out. Now it's always going to flow out that way, isn't it? Even if I... Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't... Don't you flow out any further. Even if I put this here... And then break it, it's going to flow back out, right? Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> That's a possibility. Can we just kind of come... Nope. You got to come up... Like this way. And then come across... Well, can I do this in a way that will allow me to just place it? Can I put a ring up here? Ah, now we're thinking. Now we're thinking I put a ring up here. Because I like it and I want to put a ring on it. Right? No? Okay. Uh, and then here. I'm going to need more dirt. Let me go get more dirt. Dirt supply replenished. Complete this ring across here. Oops, not there. Water's going there. Alright, so let's try this out and see what we can get out of it. Can I block this off? Okay, so that gets me... That gets me that! It gets me that. Now, let's get up here and see about... Filling this in some more with water. We'll go there. Hello? Apparently I never got that water. Oh, laggy server is laggy. Try this again. Get me that. Get me that. Sure looks like I got them both that time. And we'll go like so. And we go there and there. All right, I think we're starting to get something. I mean, the real question is going to be, will this stuff stay put? And actually, the better thing for me to have done is to have put more stairs up here. Well, we can replace those stairs once we... Replace the dirt with stairs once we have this done and verified that it works. We go there and there. Alright, so that gives us this look. Now, if I break some of this, if I break these up here, oh, you're going to start flowing outward again. Alright, well, let's go ahead and put the stairs in. And then we're just going to have to, 
as we go along here, we're going to have to block this off. So let me just do that. Oh, don't do that. Stop doing that now. What in the world, man? Okay, we'll go all the way around this way. Like so. Why is this doing this? Weird. Uh, okay, so then we'll put something there. Then we need to put another ring around this side. Let's just contain it entirely until we have the top done properly. The best thing to do, honestly, when you're working with water is to not <laughs> place it until you're done, until you know exactly what you're doing. But unfortunately, I didn't know what I was doing before I started. So, just kind of have to wing it. So let's put a ring on this in stone stairs. And then we'll take a step back and take a look at it once I've got that done. Oh, once I've got that done. Alright, I think we've managed to get it. Just taking out the last of the dirt here. Ah, et voila! Let's pick this up too. That's not blocking our view. All right, that's looking decent. That's looking pretty decent. Hmm, what else can we do here? You know, I wonder... I have this down here for lighting. But I don't think it's doing a good enough job of it. And partly that could be because of the torches that are around and the fact that it's daytime, midday. So maybe it's a little too soon to tell. But I feel like we need to do something else here. And I also feel like we need something in the corners to help hold this up. Now, I don't know if the uh, cobblestone walls would work. I don't have any cobble walls on me. Nope, that's empty still. And <laughs> no cobble walls magically appeared. So, might try that, and I also feel like we should have something on the top to sort of cap it off. Can we get away with just rounding off the top up here? We just go around with the stone stairs like this. Let's do maybe two sides real quick. And then we'll step back and take a look at it. See how that looks? So that seems really thick there. But I don't know how else I'd be able to do it. Hmm. Well, maybe just a ring of, of stone slabs up there for a little bit of a variant in color. Might work a little bit better. Let me try that. Alright, that's a pretty decent look on top. I think I like that. I made some cobble walls to try out, and, um, no, that's, <laughs> that's not going to do at all. The only way I could make this work is if I made these full blocks, and I'm not sure if I want that look. So I think the other thing I'd like to try, which will kind of cover up the water a little bit, but I think what I'd like to try is some iron bars, and I have plenty of those, so I'm going to grab some real quick. Now, uh, I should take this moment to mention that I have received a bunch of questions so far on the VBFS subreddit at reddit.com slash vbfanserver, or slash r slash vbfanserver, I should say, uh, for future episodes, and I appreciate those of you who have submitted questions. I'm not getting to any of them in this episode, I'm afraid. Uh, they are primarily for... Episodes where I don't really have anything else going on. Uh, not for necessarily... Oh my gosh, place on the right block, would you? Not necessarily for dedicated building episodes like this one. So, uh, if you were hoping to get an answer to your question in this episode, I'm sorry to disappoint. Uh, but stay tuned. 
I will probably mention either in the video description or even in the title of the episode when I'm actually going to be answering some questions. So we'll keep an eye out for that. But I've gotten some very good questions. Some, uh, you know, more standard ones. Oh, are you serious? I'm short one. Criminy. <laughs> good thing I just smelted up some iron. Uh, it's got some very interesting sort of, you know, quote-unquote normal questions uh, about myself, about my video game preferences and whatnot. I've gotten naturally the off-the-wall questions, which I expected and kind of encouraged. But uh, there's still plenty of time to submit questions if you haven't already. The uh, link will be in the description of this video as well as in the description of, it was episode 37, I believe, two episodes before this. I can't re ever remember what my episode numbers are, but I'm pretty sure 37 uh, it has a link to it as well. So feel free to go check that out. And this, this is looking pretty decent now. I think if I, I would love to put glowstone in here, but I think glowstone blocks the beam too. I think it's got to be, well, I don't know. The walls are transparent. Let's go try some glowstone. Let's try it. We got to try it. We're here. We're running back and forth all the time. This is the reason why I changed the beacon to speed, too, because I'm constantly running around this place. Uh, yeah, I've got some glowstone here. Let's just bring four. And let me grab the silk touch. And we'll grab the silk touch shovel in case I need to break it. Don't need to damage the pick. The pick is more valuable as a pick. The shovel... If I lose a Silk Touch shovel, I'm not too concerned about it. But yeah, let's get in here and break. I'm thinking just this top layer. Uh, whoops. Oh, well, that did not go as planned. That's supposed to go there. And let's take these out. Eh, I'm gonna drown in my own thing. My own uh, beam. We'll put that in there and like that. Now, did that cut off the beam? It did! Dang it! Why are cobble walls so different? That was not anticipated in the slightest. I did not think that that would cut off the beam. Well, shoot. What else can we do there? I would like l more lighting than just the pumpkins, because I don't think that's giving it quite the aura that I want. But maybe let's just take this out of here. The water is not flowing in, which is good. It's leaving that open, which means the beam can continue to go through. Maybe I just leave it like this. I can kind of get behind that. Yeah, because then once we get the other three beams in here, that'll look very cool in the middle of the water there like that. So yeah, I think we're going to go with that. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve it, I would certainly love to hear it. Because I am definitely uh, always seeking to improve my building techniques. So drop me a line in the comments below. Uh, that's not where I have any bone meal. I've got bone meal over here though with any suggestions that you might have. Whoops, that was way more bone meal than I meant to make. <laughs> Stop it, I want the eight in there. There we go. Ugh, man, I, I can hear my nose stuffing up in the way that I'm speaking. I hope that it's not bothering you guys too much. I know it would probably bother me. Uh, not overly, but... Just a little bit, where you kind of feel, you start feeling a little congested yourself. And now, now I'm bringing, bringing attention to it, so that's making it even worse for you. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, well, that's going to do it for this project. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to take a look at how much time we actually have left in this episode. Maybe we'll do something else.
All right, we're back at spawn. I decided to check this out. Now open. Please read the rules on the left inside. Balrotho's Game of Chance. Saw Snowshoe give this a try. Figured I'd give it a shot as well. Warning, wrong answers. No. Uh, there's also a hole in the floor, but there's an Enderman bouncing around out there somewhere too. Oh, it started raining. Wrong answers have a penalty, beware. Goal, the goal of this minigame is to retract the emerald blocks over there. And be able to access the chest below. In order to do this, you have to enter the correct combination of buttons. The code is four or less presses. Do not spam the buttons. Wait for the button to pop back out before pressing the new button. Once you successfully open the chest, you may not win again. They'll give out the solution. If you do win, please either contact Frotho to let him know to restock the chest or put a prize in yourself if you'd like. If you choose the letter, please give as good as you got. Okay. So. Let's see here. If I am Vol, I'm thinking we go here. 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 Nope. Oh, dang it. Well, now I am poisoned for the next minute. <laughs> so that should make things fun as we wander around here in the rain at night. The main reason that I came to spawn is to scout out a project that I posted about on the server forums. I think we need something akin to a good land on here. Now we have a couple of games. We have Alrathos mini game over there. We have uh, on the other side of the embassy here. We've got. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> We got the mud pit. We got Caleb. Caleb built that. Caleb also built this King of the Iron Bars, which I don't think I've actually shown. Simple concept. Uh, everybody armor off and everything, and you try and stay on here as long as you can while other people are trying to punch you off into the water below. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I should not be trying. <laughs> I should not be risking taking damage right now. Um. But we're sort of running out of space for mini games because we got this water feature here, and I thought it might. And you know, mini games that are huge, like a King of the Ladder that stretches up to the build limit, would not be very attractive right in town. But we've got this desert off in this direction that I think would make an excellent location for some sort of beefy amusement park. So we're going to go scout out a location for the front gate for that today. I don't think we're going to have it be right at the end of the road here. I hear you, spider. Where are you? Okay, apparently you're down below somewhere. Hello, Zumbert. Pink. At the end of the road here, there is... Can't talk, zombie fighting. There is a little desert well looking structure that actually heads down to the start of a PvP arena that had been created some time ago when the map was first reset. I don't think anybody's been doing anything with it since then. You can see quite a bit is done on it here, actually, uh, in terms of clearing out space. There was a spawner there. But, uh, I don't know if anybody has really adopted this project. This isn't one that I'm planning to adopt, either. Uh, it was going to be, like I said, a massive underground PvP arena. And it just never really took off. Uh, the person who was involved in it kind of burnt out on it, and nobody else jumped in to work on it, so... We shall see. But because this is here, I don't really want to... Um, whoa, hello. Oh, you want me. Hello. Do not attack me. Thank you. I don't want to bulldoze this down and put the gate right here because somebody might want to take that project again. So we're going to go out here further. Dang, creeper. Did I get gunpowder off of you? I did. Thank you. 
Mobs are moving weird right now. I don't know what's going on with the server. Ouch. But I'm thinking out here somewhere would make sense for it. Now, the only other obstacle that is out this way is... All mock and zombies... Uh, record generator, basically. <laughs> it's a little... They've got a skeleton trapped in there, and they've got uh, pressure pads that if a creeper steps on them, then the creeper is trapped, and eventually they can maneuver the skeleton into killing it and getting a record. But what I'm thinking is we might want to put it... the front gate over here somewhere. There's only one other structure, and that's that, and I don't think it has anything to do with anything really so i'm thinking maybe right about here and maybe we flatten this out a little bit we take a layer of sand off the top so say go from here and we cut this across this way like so Something like that, and then we just take all this down. And what I'd like to do for the entrance, and I have a plan for this, and so far it's looking pretty good. I gotta go on a materials run to get enough for uh, enough materials to actually complete it. But I'd like to make a big statue of beef, and I'd like you to enter the park by walking underneath him. And I want him to be like, you know, not just a standard. You know, not, uh, if I'm not a five key, but not like this kind of look with the arms straight down. I want to have, give it a little bit more of a personality than that. So, I've like I said, I've got a plan for that, and we'll see if it works out. But first, I gotta prep this area a little bit, and I think that that's probably going to be the next project that I tackle here. We might look at this a little bit more next episode, or maybe we'll dig into something else. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. little teaser of what is to come. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.